Ray is, uh, I guess he's one of the bad guys of the movie. He's sort of one of the main villains. There's two guys, and he's part of a team of these two guys who are going around the city dressing up as DEA agents or undercover cops and kidnapping the wives or girlfriends of drug dealers and then ransoming them back to the drug dealers. And generally, they don't hold up their end of the bargain very well, and they wind up killing the women a lot of times, chopping their bodies up, things like that. So he's a, um, he's a psychotic serial killer. He's this uh, former detective who is uh, sorting out his own issues throughout the story, and I think sort of coming to some kind of faith or trying to find some sort of faith in the world. Um, and I think that these guys offer him an opportunity to really go after something evil and to sort of understand uh, what to live for. I think there's something very interesting about serial killers and something very cathartic to watch because they offer us, I mean, they're horrific figures in one sense, and in a way they have a certain freedom that I think that we all can sort of want sometimes, you know what I mean? And not necessarily to pursue the same type of actions that they do with murder, but they have a certain freedom to go against society and to say these are norms that you've established, and frankly, they're fairly arbitrary norms. And so I, in my individual nature, Will pursue my individual nature against society's norms and i think that's a beautiful thing for an individual to do now i don't necessarily i mean i don't at all agree with the methods that these guys go but it's the same spirit of any revolutionary or any anyone like you know gandhi or i mean they're cut in a way from the same cloth they just take very drastically different actions I think we all like uh, people of action, obviously, people who are strong characters who are, um, but I think what, we, what I like the most to see in an iconic strong character is someone who's also broken at their core and who is searching for some kind of redemption themselves along with just fighting evil. And I think that's what's so compelling about the Scudder character is that he is this guy who's broken by a deed he did years ago and he's struggling with his sobriety and he's struggling to be a good person. And through this evil, through conquering this external evil, he's able to grapple with some internal demons as well.